Okay, right, so this is just all continuing our stuff from yesterday, which was either permutation or a combination. So what's the difference? A permutation means I'm doing what to my objects? Oh. You're rearranging them. I'm arranging. And a combination is doing what with objects? Grouping. Okay? Okay, so here's my first question. How many committees can, of three people, can you form if you have ten students to pick from? Okay, so I'm going to go a ten and a three. What letter am I going to put in there? Are you worried about arranging them, or are you worried about just different groups of them? Groups of them. So C. So do we remember how to do that work? So remember that button is called the NCR. You have to type the 10 and then the button and then the 3. One twenty. So there's 120 different groups. So in this class, it's like me saying, hey, I could take Ke Keegan, Jim, and Jenny with me. Oh, I could take Keegan, Trevor, and, and Cassie with me, right? There's 120 different ways I can take three people. Okay, there's seven boys and five girls. How many committees of four could you have if there's just no restrictions? So if there's no restrictions, I'm going to be picking four, and I'm choosing them, right? Because I'm not arranging, I'm just picking a committee. How many available choices do I have? If there's no restrictions, just how many people could I pick from? Well, where am I getting at? I could pick anybody. I could pick any boy or any girl. So there's just 12 people, and I'm going to pick four. Okay. So practice getting me a number. <clears throat> okay, there's three boys and one girl on this committee. Okay, so I'm going to choose three boys. How many options do I have to pick from with my boys? Seven. When I see the word and in math, which operation do I put? Multiply. I'm doing this and this. And I'm going to choose one girl. How many girls do I have to pick from? I have five girls, and I'm going to choose one. OK, so in your calculator, I do remember that that was just five. Okay. I'm, I need to pick three boys. I have seven boys and I need to pick three. I have five girls to pick from and I need to get one of them. So seven, C3, so that's 35. Okay, so please remember when you have two things happening simultaneously, like and, they're both happening, you multiply. Okay, when you see the words at least two boys, what could this mean? You could have two boys, but it says at least two boys. Or what else could I have? I could have three boys. Right? Does that make sense? I have to have at least two boys on there. Or I could have four boys. Okay, and then that's it because this is just a committee of four people, right? So I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go up because that's the end. My committee is still four people. Okay, so if I was to have two boys on there, 
what would you put for girls on that committee? Also two? If there was three boys on this committee, that means there would be one girl. Because this committee has four. And then if there was four boys on it, how many girls would you be on? No girls. Okay. Can you show me two boys and two girls? So using all the stuff above, right? Do you remember we had seven boys and we had five girls? That's our picking. So I'm going to go seven, choose two, because I have to pick two boys from my seven options. And I'm going to pick two girls from the five options. Okay. If you want to save time, that's just 210. This times that. Like you have to do that and then times that all together. It was 210? Did it not come out? Well, I just don't know how you did that so fast. Oh, did it so fast? I actually did it all in one step. I went seven, choose two. I did that times five, choose two. Mm -hmm. Boom, two, ten. I did it all in the one like that. Okay, what do you think the word or means to do? So in, in an operation, what would I do? The last time it said to do an and, and I multiplied, so if something or something else happens, what do you think? Add? Is that your instinct? Okay, so do you understand that this committee and this committee are not actually happening at the same time? It's that I either have this committee or this committee. So what would this committee look like? I need three boys, so seven choose three. And there would have to be one girl. These things are happening at the same time because that's the same committee. Hey, we just did that one above, right? 175. That was that one. We just did it. Oh. Or the other situation, so a separate situation, so I'm adding four boys. So you're going to have... Oh, seven, choose four, and five, choose zero. Okay, I'm also okay if you just don't write that. Okay, anybody want to predict what kind of number that would just be? If you One. So I'm okay if you don't write it on there. So seven, choose four? 35. 35. Okay, so you have to just add, add, add. So all together, there would be 420 different committees. So you start from four to three, and then you have to two, or what? Well, in this committee, I put two boys on it. And then on this committee, I put three boys. And this committee, I put four boys. Because that's what having at least two means. You could have two or more. OK, D, Alec or Kristen is on the committee, but not both. They both can't be on there together. They must not like each other. I need to also make sure my committee has three boys and one girl on it. So this is also going to be a situation thing. So there's one situation where Alec is on, or my other situation would be that Kristen is on. Because it says Alec or Kristen have to be on it, but they both can't be. Okay, so what do I know 
If Alec is on this committee, what else do I know? Kristen has to be off of it. She can't be on it. Okay, and then we're trying to get a committee of four, and we're trying to get it to have three boys and one girl. So here we go. I'm going to go Alec, choose Alec, because he has to be on there. So Alec is a boy. So how many more boys do I need? I still need two more boys. How many choices do I have for boys? What do you say? Six. Six, yeah. Why is it six instead of seven? Because Alec's not in my choices anymore. He's already on there. So when I go back to look, I only have six boys to choose from. I need one girl, so I'm going to choose one girl. How many girls, think about it, how many girl choices do I have to pick from? Four. The reason is because you are not allowed to pick Kristen. So she's not in your choice pool. Okay, one choose one. Does anybody want to guess what that is? One. One. This is a calculator, 15. Does anybody want to guess what four choose one is as a number? It's four. So that is 60. Or, so plus, the other situation, total separate, not happening at the same time. Okay, ready? Kristen is on. So Kristen, choose Kristen. And so that's actually my girl. So I'm already done the girl stuff. So I need three boys. So I'm going to choose three boys. How many boys do you have to pick from? What do you think? You only have six because there's seven boys, right? But you're not allowed to pick Alec. Because if Kristen's on, Alec can't be on, right? You don't have a selection of Alec. Okay, so I'm gonna do a six, two, three, and I got a 20, so that's 80. Okay. What if I take the word, we're going to do the next example, just watch this for a second just to understand. What if I take the word dad and let me label this, I'm going to go green, red, and blue. I should have wrote that up. So green, red, and blue. Okay, can you rearrange this? So I could go, so that's green, red, blue. I could go green, blue, red. I could go, give me something else. So that would be red, blue, green. What else? Red, green, blue, or what else could I start? I could start with blue, right? So blue, green, red, or blue, red, green. Did I get them all? What's that? I thought. I thought. Oh. Oh, yeah. I need that to be a D, right? Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. That's a green D. That's good. Did I get them all? One more. What? I thought. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, because I don't have two A's. Right. A, no, I don't have two A's. That's why it's a problem. Yeah, so you uh, have two A's. In oh, yeah. Example, so. But now this is good, right? No, no. no. <laughs> what? Second row. Oh, I, I screwed this one up. What am yes. I, did I do here? The blue is a D. That's a tough one. Thanks. Now? I think we're going to so. Now that's good. Two yellows in front of two. Okay. Too much to think about when I was doing colors and letters here. Okay. So there's six ways I could move around those letters, okay? Tell me, when you look at this and this, if they weren't colors, would they look any different? No. So I'm going to cancel that one out because I don't need two of them because they repeat it. What else? Add and add. Yeah, I moved the letters around, but to you, if they weren't colored, they would look the same. And same with that. So I canceled, and those went from six arrangements actually just to three, because they're just repeated. So on this one, here's what I would do. I had three letters, right? And when I arrange something, it's like a factorial, but I'm gonna cancel two factorial because of the D and the D being a repeated. Okay. But do you, do you visually see why those get canceled? This is arrangements. Yeah. So this is going to lead us into this question. Okay. How many arrangements, if I was to move around all of these letters, pretend it's like moving people around, right? Okay. If I was to move them all around, how many ways could I do that? So can you count all of those letters? There's 11 of them. So if I was to move 11 objects around, they could move 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, blah, 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 blah. Okay, but if I put the I here and the I here and then swap those I's, is it going to do anything? Nothing different. So. How many I's do I have? Four. So I'm going to cancel that. Um, S's, I got a bunch of those. Four, so I'm going to cancel that. And P, two. Okay, so if you were going to type this in, you would need some brackets on your bottom. It's on me, mine is on the shift four. But was yours a probability button? I don't remember. What did you divide the what? I did 11 explanation. Oh, I see. Divided by bracket, four explanation times, right? Four factorial times four factorial times two. I did that in brackets. 34,000. 650. I'm just going to walk to see about the typing situation in your calculator. you're trying to put them into a seat scene situation, pretend you're in the front row of an audience. How many ways could I arrange them if there's just no restrictions? Okay, so how many people am I moving around? On this question, I'm just asking if there's no restrictions, I'm just moving what? I'm moving 10 people around. So what am I going to do if I'm arranging 10 people? 
10 factorial. If you don't know why I'm doing a factorial, pretend I have my 10 seats, and what I'm doing is I'm saying, how many people do I have to pick from on the first seat? 10. How many people could sit into my next seat? Nine. Right? How many choices do you have next? Eight. That, 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 that. That's the same as a 10 factorial. Okay. They have to alternate boys and girls. I'm actually going to draw my 10 seats this time. Okay, how many choices do I have to put somebody onto my first seat? I could put anybody there. Ten choices. Okay, tell me, who did we put there? Did we put a boy or a girl? Okay, we put a boy there. So now, how many options do I have onto my second seat? Five, because on this chair, and now I would have to be putting a girl. Okay? Now I'm back to a boy. How many boys do you have? Four. Now I'm back to a girl. Four girls. Now I'm back to a boy. Three. What's going to happen? Three, two, two, one, one. Okay, if you want, you can just go times, 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 times. If you want to shortcut it, this would be the idea. Five factorial for the boys, five factorial for the girls, times two, because I could have started the line with a boy or started the line with a girl. So I have to times it by two because there's just two different ways I could have started. Okay? If that's confusing, I don't care. Just go for the whole timesing that. Okay. Next one, I'm going to draw my seats again here. Okay, on this one, it says, Andrew and Zach have to sit beside each other. So I'm going to put a box around two people like that. They have to be beside each other. So they're kind of glued together, okay? So when I'm now, pretend I'm moving all of these things around, how many units, how many things am I now moving around? Nine. I'm only moving nine units around because when they move, they're moving together. So these are eight people. And then the ninth and tenth person are actually just one unit. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Then, so this is how many units you're moving around. Then what could Andrew and Zach do? Mm -hmm. They could move inside, the, right? So I could move them over here, and then I could go Andrew, Zach, or I could have done a Zach, Andrew. So I'm going to times it by two factorial because within the group, they could move themselves around. Okay, so you try D, ready? We're gonna do the same idea. So you're putting three people together. 
So three people are glued together. How many units are going to be able to move around in places now? What do you think? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then all this is one unit, so eight units. Then what could these three people do? They could move around. How is it? So there's three people here. Yeah. How many individuals are there? There's seven, and then they are the eighth unit. Oh. This is one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't, did you see it? Or no? Yeah. So it's like seven individuals and one group. Okay, they have to sit in couples. So these two people have to sit beside each other. These two people, those two people, those two people, those two people. Okay, how many groups can I shuffle around? I can move five groups around or units or whatever, I can move five units around, then these two people could move around. Oh, but so could these two people. I could flip-flop, and I could flip-flop those, and those, and those. So is this okay if I do that to the fifth exponent? Because I would have to times so it's always the same idea. How many groups am I moving? And then what could happen within the group yet? Last question here. <clears throat> Andrew and Zach don't want to sit beside each other. <clears throat> okay, so this question we are going to do opposite method. <clears throat> it's <clears throat> technically called a complement event. That's just like the opposite of what happens. So here's what's going to happen. Does this make sense? Out of all the situations that could happen, Andrew and Zach are either going to be sitting beside each other or not sitting beside each other. Right? So I'm going to do all of the possible subtract the opposite event, which would be if Andrew and Zach sat beside each other. Does this make sense that the answer will provide me with if they don't sit beside each other? All of the events subtract if they do sit beside each other should be if they don't sit beside each other. Okay, what was the situation where all the events, all the arrangements, which one of those? Going back to up your page. 10 factorial was the all possible arrangements. Which one of those was when they did sit beside each other? Ooh. You see that one on question C? Oh, I, I realize on my paper I forgot to actually give you the answer on that one. Okay, so we can just straight type this into our calculator, so 10 factorial subtract 9 factorial times 2 factorial, oh, 2 million and change. Are you getting a big number? Almost 3 million. 
See, that's why we didn't want to calculate that. <laughs> we wanted to do the opposite. The opposite is easier to calculate than that. 